Georgia is home to a lot of fascinating wildlife. And among all these creatures are three awesome rattlesnake species that we're gonna go over in today's video. The timber rattlesnake, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, and the pygmy rattlesnake. Each one of these species have their own unique characteristics, habitats, and behaviors. And we'll also take a look at the fascinating adaptations that they have to thrive in the ecosystems that we have here in Georgia. First up is the timber rattlesnake scientifically known as the Crotalus horridus. This species is one of the largest rattlesnakes found in Georgia, commonly growing up to four to five feet, though some individuals can reach six. Timber rattlesnakes are typically found in forested areas, especially deciduous forests and mixed woodlands. Their coloration is distinctive, a combination of gray, brown, or even yellowish tones with dark chevron shaped cross bands down their back. This camouflage helps them blend in while the leaf litter on the forest floor, making it easier to avoid predators and ambush prey. What makes the timber rattlesnake such an effective hunter? Like all pit vipers, it possesses heat sensitive pit organs located between its eyes and nostrils. These pits allow it to detect warm blooded prey, such as mice, squirrels, and birds, even in low light. The timber rattlesnake's fangs inject venom that immobilizes and then begins the process of digesting their prey. In Georgia, the timber rattlesnake is found mostly in the northern and central parts of the state, but they're also an adaptable species and they can be found in your floodplains to rocky hillsides as well. Next, we have the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, the Crotalus adamantius. They are the largest rattlesnake species in North America and one of the most iconic snakes in the southeastern United States. With a typical length of four to six feet, and in rare cases reaching lengths over seven feet, this rattlesnake can make quite an impression. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake gets its distinctive name from the diamond-shaped patterns going along its back, set against a brown or grayish background. And these markings are bordered with yellow or white, creating a striking look that serves as a warning to potential threats. This species is equipped with powerful venom that contains a mixture of enzymes and proteins, including your hemotoxins, which disrupt blood clotting and can cause extensive tissue damage in prey or attackers. The Eastern Diamondback's venom helps us to take down prey much larger than itself, such as rabbits, and even withstand encounters with predators. In Georgia, the Eastern Diamondback is generally found in the coastal plains and prefers sandy dry areas like your pine flatwoods, scrublands, and coastal dunes. Unfortunately, due to habitat loss and essential killings, their population have significantly declined and they're now a species of concern in the state. Finally, let's talk about the pygmy rattlesnake. That is the Cistrus malarius. They are the smallest of Georgia's rattlesnakes and most adults reach around one to two feet in length. But don't let their size fool you. Pygmy rattlesnakes are still potent predators with specialized adaptations. The rattle is so small that it's often described as a buzz rather than a full rattle, and this sound is hard to detect unless you're very close, which actually benefits the pygmy rattlesnake by allowing it to avoid confrontation without giving away its position. Like the larger relatives, pygmy rattlesnakes have pit organs for detecting more blooded prey, but their diet is slightly different due to their size. They primarily feed on small rodents, frogs, lizards, and insects like grasshoppers. Their venom, while less potent than the larger rattlesnakes, is still effective at subduing small prey. Pygmy rattlesnakes can be found throughout Georgia, but are mostly found in the central and southern parts of the state. They thrive in a variety of habitats, from wetlands and river edges to pine forests and scrublands. Rattlesnakes play a crucial role in Georgia's ecosystems. By controlling populations of rodents and other small animals, they help maintain an ecological balance. Their presence in the food chain also benefits larger predators as well, including birds of prey and mammals that sometimes feed on these snakes as well. Unfortunately, all rattlesnakes in Georgia face threats from habitat loss, road mortality, and human persecution. Many people fear rattlesnakes, but they rarely pose a risk to humans. In fact, rattlesnakes are relatively shy and would only strike if threatened or cornered. To safely coexist with rattlesnakes, the key to this is awareness and respect, in my opinion. And if you see a rattlesnake in the wild, it's best just to avoid them and go the opposite direction, as they will probably do the same to you because they're just as scared as you are of them. By learning more about these species of snakes, we can really appreciate their role in the ecosystems that we have here in the state of Georgia. Whether if it's the powerful timber rattlesnake 
or the striking eastern diamondback rattlesnake or the world's smallest rattlesnake species, the pygmy rattlesnake, these reptiles hold a very crucial part of the heritage here in Georgia. So thanks guys for letting me talk to you about the rattlesnakes here in Georgia. And if you like this video and you wanna see more reptile content, hit that like button down below and also leave a like and a comment. So see you on the next one.